students today we have discuss on the forms of igneous rock in the last lecture we have seen the composition of magma and lava i am dr raut aman assistant professor babra patel college of arts and science anagar now today we have seen the forms of igneous rock what is forms in igneous rock forms are the different igneous bodies which are formed from the hot and molten material which are formed below the earth surface as well as which are formed on the earth surface that structures are nothing but the forms of igneous rocks now first form is the lava flows in which when magmatic material that is the magma which are comes from magma chamber and it comes on the over the earth surface spread over the earth surface that magmatic flow over the earth surface is called as the lava flows lava means when magmatic material comes on the earth surface that magma is nothing but lava when it comes on the earth surface when this magmatic material comes over the earth surface in the form of different lava flows that is nothing but lava flow is one of the form of igneous rock which is the extrusive form means which form over the earth surface which form on the earth surface that's why it is called as a lava flow this lava flow are of two types one is the conical shaped lava flow and other one is the fissure type of lava flow in the conical shaped lava flow volcanoes are formed while in the fissure type of lava flow very large Uh, fissure flood of magmatic material is occur where magma or lava is in the form of flooding that's why there is it it uh, transform into the very long distance they not heaped up around the orifice that's why it is a uh, it is a not a volcanic shaped it's a fissure eruption that's why it is called as a fissure eruption and second one is the volcanic cone of lavas now this is one while in the intrusion in the intrusion of magmatic material below the earth surface there are two types of forms one is the concordant form while other is the discordant form now this is the concordant form and this is the discordant form in concordant forms when magmatic material is inject parallel to the bedding plane in in the bed which are inject parallel to the bedding plane that's why it is called as a concordant forms now in this figure look at this in this figure now see this magmatic intrusion is occur and which inject parallel to the bedding plane this is the, this is parallel this is also parallel intrusion this is also parallel intrusion this is also parallel intrusion such a parallel intrusion is called as concordant forms while the second one is the discordant forms in which the magmatic material inject within the earth layer but it cut across the all the beds look at this here this magmatic material cut the beds now here this magmatic material cuts the bed now here this magmatic material cuts the bed that's why it is the concordant form of igneous rock now if you see 
there are two forms concordant as well as discordant forms of igneous rock in the concordant forms seal lacolith lopholeth and phacolith as well as concordant batholith these are the different forms different bodies of concordant forms while in the discordant forms dike ring dike cone sheet volcanic neck stock boss and discordant batholith are the different igneous bodies which are seen in the next figure now just enlarge this figure and look at this look at this this is the batholith which is a huge intrusion of magmatic material this is the dike this is the seal this is the stock now here is stock not a sheer stock here stock seal seal is the parallel intrusion dike is the vertical intrusion dike cuts the bedding planes while seal are the parallel to the bedding plane then you can understand the concordant as well as discordant forms in the next figure we can clearly seen that all the forms of igneous rock in this figure look at this on the earth surface this is the surface line of the earth this is the surface line of the earth on that surface magmatic material this is the magma this magmatic material comes from this magma chamber and spread in the form of volcanic cones this is the volcanoes volcanic cone is the lava flows while in this in this here fissure eruption is occur this is the fissure eruption is occur that is the both are the lava flows this is the extrusive form of igneous rock while look at this next one is the intrusive forms now look at this this is the magmatic intrusion in which seal is the parallel that is the concordant form concordant forms are the forms which are injected parallel to the bedding plane that material inject parallel to the bedding plane in this you can see that these seals are the material injected which are parallel to the bedding plane that's why it is called as a seal now here you can see that this is also seal this is also lacolith all these forms are the concordant forms now in the next figure we have seen that this is also we can see that all these are the magma chamber just a minute ah uh, this is the magma chamber from this magma chamber different uh, bodies are forming means intrusion is occur in the form of different uh, intrusive bodies that is the lacolith here dikes lopholiths are all the forms are seen in the below the earth surface that's why intrusive forms are the concordant as well as discordant now look at the next next is the different uh, forms of igneous rock now here look at this seal is the concordant form of igneous rock it is a thin tabular structure look at this figure in this figure a thin layer of parallel to the bedding plane you can see that this is the earth surface you can see that here is the earth surface and all these lines are the bedding planes all these lines are the bedding planes while the red color is the seals that is the magmatic intrusion is takes place and which are inject parallel to the bedding planes these are the seals seals are the tabular sheets of magma 
penetrated horizontal to the bedding plane these are considerable distance thickness of the seal is inch 1 inch to hundreds of feet now look at this second form is the lacolith lacolith is also a concordant form of igneous rock this concordant form is which are parallel to the bedding plane plane you can see that the beds are uplifted here you can look at these beds are uplifted in the form of ball shaped because of the magmatic intrusion is occur because of this magmatic intrusion above layers are uplifted and magma create room for itself that is also a concordant form means this material is acidic in nature that's why it do not move for long distance it heaped up around the orific or opening and form a different bodies that bodies has a flat base and domed top look at this this is the flat base and top is domed that's why it is called as a lacolith look at this lacolith means a magma of considerable viscosity injected into the stratified rock does not spread very far but tend to heap itself up about the opening of eruption thus bun shaped igneous mass is formed it has domed top and flat base you can clearly see in the diagram now next form is the lopolith this is also a concordant forms means magmatic material comes from magma chamber and injected parallel to the bedding planes look at this this is the upper bedding plane and here this is this is are the lower bedding plane in this both the bedding planes that magmatic material is injected and spread far a distance now look at this lopo means basin shaped just like it you can see that basin shaped lopo means basin basin shaped magmatic body basin shaped igneous body is formed below the earth surface which has a very broad hundreds of kilometer in the broadness and widthness of this magmatic intrusion is occur below the earth surface such a form is called as a lopolith now look at this it has massive intrusion massive means very large intrusion of basic rocks basic rocks it spread very far if they are acidic they do not spread very far it heaped up around the orific file in this in this form because of the basic nature of magmatic material it spread very far and huge mass of intrusion is occur that's why it is a concordant it is lenticular shaped and centrally basin like look at this basin like thickness of each lopholith has 110 to 120 kilometer now look at the next form next form is the facolith facolith is also a concordant form but it has a very complex because this is found in the folded region you can see that the in this figure here fold is seen this is the fold structure we have seen in the last lecture different types of fold that is the syncline as well as anticline in this folded region 
at the crust region and at the trough region both the regions are the planes of weaknesses at that weak point if intrusion is occur they got secreted in the crust region as well as in the trough region in the crust region as well as in the trough region that's why it is called as a facolith now today's lecture for forms of igneous rock in the next lecture we have seen the different forms of discordant bodies of igneous rock that's it for today's lecture